Hi everyone, this is Apurva Chauhan and I'm here to present my research with Dr. Amanda Lee Hughes on trustworthiness perceptions of social media resources named after a crisis event. Crisis named resources or CNRs are social media pages and accounts named after a crisis event. They share information about the crisis and support crisis affected individuals. In most cases, owners of these resources are unknown, yet they are followed by many people. We investigate two research questions. Do people trust CNRs? And which factors influence the trustworthiness of CNRs? To answer these research questions, we conducted interviews and surveys with members of the public and experts in crisis informatics, communication studies, and emergency response. To provide context during studies, we asked participants to imagine they were in Florida and had been affected by Hurricane Irma. Participants were then told that they were looking for information about how to respond to this event. Same questionnaire was used for both the studies. The first six questions focused on CNR owners' ability, benevolence, and integrity. And the final question was, would you trust the information on the CNR? Most participants did not trust CNRs 1, 3, 4, 9, and 10. CNR 1 was a Twitter account where tweets were either sarcastic or humorous with frequent political references. Many did not trust this account and questioned the identity and intentions of the owner. CNR3 provided a link to a fundraising site without stating who owns the page or who was raising the funds, why and how. CNR4 claimed to be the official page for Hurricane Irma memes. Many felt that the content was not helpful for responding to a crisis. CNR9 claimed to be the official page for Hurricane Irma. However, it was created in 2012 and its page handle was named after Hurricane Sandy. Many interviewees questioned the intentions of the owners and found the content unhelpful. CNR10 was a Twitter account with no profile picture, cover photo, bio, location, and tweets. Most participants trusted CNRs 5 and 7. CNR5 owners were local. They tweeted actively about the hurricane and followed authoritative information sources, such as the local mayor. CNR7 owners were also local, and they provided a link to National Hurricane Center. They followed verified accounts of weather professionals and organizations and had more than 28,000 followers. CNRs 2, 6, and 8 received mixed trustworthiness evaluations. CNR 2 was created by a woman who was the editor of a local news media in Florida. The people liked the fact that she revealed her identity. Some people questioned her intentions in creating this account. CNR 6 clearly mentioned that it is not monitored by emergency services and people should call 911 in case of emergency. People did not find the content helpful on this account. CNR 8 also stated clearly that it is not the official page for Hurricane Irma. Though people appreciated the honesty of the owner, they also doubted the authenticity of this page. We found that factors that influence the perceived trustworthiness of CNRs fall under the broad categories of CNRs content, information source, profile, and owner. Participants in general tend to trust this content that was relevant, of high quality, adequate in quantity, timely, useful, and accurate. Participants tended to trust an information that seems to be coming from a known or local resource. Participants tended to trust a profile that appeared to be professional, popular, authentic, and with a crisis-related purpose. Finally, they trusted a page whose owner appeared to have the intentions of helping crisis-affected individuals. We recommend that crisis-named resources owners share crisis-related information frequently, subscribe to reliable information sources, cite sources of information, clearly state their identity and ability to respond to the crisis, and be professional in interactions. We are, however, concerned that one can use these recommendations to make their CNR appear more credible than it is. Also, we noticed that during our studies that many people still continue to pay attention to the very basic features of social media profile, all of which could be easily spoofed. In future, we plan to conduct semi-structured interviews with people in evacuation shelters to study their sense-making processes and to see if they trust these resources. We also plan to design research snapshot platform to determine which features are more valuable for perceived trustworthiness. Finally, we plan to design educational materials to empower social media users with knowledge and tools to understand what is trustworthy on social media. Thank you for watching.